Hello everyone, I'm Rodney Reynolds and welcome to episode 5 on Cities Skylines. This one is all about the mods that you can install for this game. I normally go vanilla and usually don't enable a lot of mods and the reason I do this is for example maybe the developer of the mod won't support the mod anymore or maybe the game itself doesn't update and then it breaks it. If you load a game from like you know the past and it's broken then you got to fix it all right so that's one of the reasons why i tend to go vanilla now there are a couple vanilla stock mods i'll show you those they're within the content manager here and you can do a search here at the top right they're the unlimited ones unlimited money unlimited oil and or an unlimited soil so those give you much more obviously flexibility and it adds a bit more fun to the game but it's kind of like cheating in a way right and a lot of these mods are ways that you can get around things and make the game basically more interesting. So that's the mods, kind of how they exist in the game. You can turn them on and off. And as I turn them on and off, you can see here at the bottom right, it shows one enabled of 30 and turn it off again. And it shows zero, right? You can um, as well view in the workshop on subscribe right within here you can sort by name ascending and descending and if you go to steam workshop right here it will show you for example you know the currently subscribed workshop items and let's go back to mods here as well and by the way get more mods on steam workshop you can click here and open up the web browser which will take you to the steam workshop within steam so let me show you that now. This is how you actually install a mod. You can do it a couple of ways. You can just load the Steam app or the Steam program within Windows, right? And load that up, go to the game, then go within this tab called Workshop. And then you can go down here to the map, the mod, the, you know, the theme, the scenario. You can go to the assets, the buildings, the props, the trees and vehicles. Or you can just choose to search right here, road, for example, and then a road will show up. You like this one, maybe. And then you go in here and then you go ahead and subscribe to it. Now, as soon as you subscribe to this, it will show up in game almost instantly so that's that's one way of doing it this is really the same way of doing it it's just using a web browser to do it you can uh, launch it this way if you like or you can just window into it i have a multiple monitor setup so i can just drag it right over so looks very similar right to the steam program it is for the most part so you've got the same options in here you just log into your account go into the game then go into workshop and you can go from there and subscribe to the mods that you want now one other thing you should remember to do if you enable a mod turn it on go into options and within that you have you know a ton of other things that you can adjust so make sure you remember that just don't turn on and load the game remember that you need to go into options and see what's in here and what you want to enable or disable or tweak and some of them have key bindings as well now while i focused on mods in the steam workshop there are all kinds of other things for example maps already covered mods saved games district style map themes scenarios and thousands of different assets so remember within the steam workshop you've got all kinds of other items well i hope you enjoyed this episode i'll see you in the next one and remember if you like this content to subscribe and hit that bell as well so you get notified when i release new content online and consider also becoming a patreon member all of the details are down in the description